All right, I'll, I'll continue that later. Are you are you ready to jump into the matrix? No, no. I no. told you to call me because I I w had I had things to say about the other shit you were talking about. Um, Norman Reedus <laughs> being Ghost Rider. That's what <laughs> all right. We're going we're going back to Ghost Rider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, so he like he wasn't just responding to people's tweets and stuff like that. Apparently, he was saying that he wanted to be Ghost Rider as well. Oh, um, okay. But that being said. I don't want a fucking another white man being Ghost Rider anymore. I'm tired of that. We had fucking uh, what's his name Reyes. Yeah, uh, he was it, for for a while, dude. Yeah, in Agents of Shield, he was really good. And then we had our, our first live action rendition of him in Agents of Shield. Yep. He was comic for a while, dude, and and, and yeah. they they just won't fucking do it for a movie, and it's upsetting. It should. He was he was great at Agent Shield. That was the last. I think Dude, the last. Think about it. He has a fucking muscle car. Come on. Yeah. He did have a muscle car. <laughs> he has a fucking sick ass muscle car. It's like they have all the shits to make uh their own sort of like Marvel meets Fast and the Furious kind of situation, but they don't oh, want to fucking do it. You know. Oh, dude, that would be sick. But not yeah. like Fast and the Furious in the way that they're taking it. More yeah, like yeah. more like. <laughs> heavy action car yeah like races and and shit like that you know that's a good that's a good really good pitch if if someone came to marvel studios and said i want to make a ghost rider film but like fast and furious think about that in the mcu and they'd be like all right yeah, maybe yeah. bro that would be fucking insane yeah i would that would i'll watch that i agree with you i i mean it's not confirmed this is all just speculation and an actor you know putting it out there um they they just I mean Marvel Studios themselves just got back a, a back of you know Ghost Rider Daredevil, the X Men, so like they we don't we don't even know when we're gonna see the first X Men appear on the MCU yet. Yeah, you know, that that I mean it's probably gonna be a little bit, but with what they're doing right now, I'm okay with that because they're sort of putting out bangers left and right and yeah, like setting up for bigger bigger shit you know like i, I yeah. I'm, I'm i'm down for that with with the way uh the way no way home ends and the way loki ends and the way yeah, yeah. wandavision ends and the way fucking shang chi ends like i'm gonna exclude eternals because it was my least favorite out of all of them i, but, have, like, I have yet to watch it even with the way that ended like they're still continuing shit you know they're setting up shit for like yeah down the line and, and and you can tell but yeah what exactly it is we don't know well know? that's what kevin big fighting what it was trying to say feige. he's like feige kevin feige was trying to say he's gonna come on my stream and just stare at me uh, <laughs> he's gonna be like you better fucking say my name right <laughs> uh, i won't let you watch any of these movies you know what's crazy when i when i was re-watching the spider-man movies uh the the og spider-man 2 he he was he was like a producer on it Oh, like, that's cool. The Toby, I was like, oh fuck, he was he was in there. He was getting his feet wet, and that's funny. Yeah, but you know what? What? The like everybody was actually like a hashtag was created, and they want um this guy's amazing Spider Man to have a finisher. Like, yeah, a, a, a I final saw. Movie. Yeah, I don't. Don't you fucking give me that oh, bullshit, okay? Are you gonna suck Toby's dick right now? That's what I, you're gonna do. I, I don't, Are you gonna suck Toby's I'm gonna be, dick right I, now? No, I'm gonna be honest. I they're all they're all they're all great in their own way. I I think exactly, Andrew, Andrew, Andrew Garfield way. was a great Spider Man. I just think he got a bad deal with what Sony was doing. They didn't know what they were doing with Spider Man. They were. I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like they had an idea of what they were doing because well, they were setting up a Sinister Six. Yeah, that, they really had a hard on for a Sinister Six movie, which but you know that's I, fucking incredible. No, yeah, as not had that. Yeah, and, and even in this new movie, I thought we were gonna get that. We only got Sinister too, Five. Bro. Sinister Five. I, thought we were gonna get <laughs> I was like, we need one more. One more. Wait. 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 Yeah, they fucking killed him. Fucking Mysterio died in the last movie. But everyone, everyone's like, he's a Mysterio. How do you know he really died? It, you know, wasn't because a he fucking died. True. I love how I was watching that movie, and you remember the scene where, um, uh, he heads up, spoilers for No Way Home. If you haven't seen it yet, I don't yeah, know what to tell you. But, um, the, in the alleyway where, uh, Norman Osborn destroys the mask, the Green Goblin mask. That's the same alleyway. From the movie? Yeah, from when he le leaves his costume. Oh, shit. I had that. It's, I was like. It's also, it's also him 
doing the same thing as Peter when Peter left the costume. Oh my God! It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a what? What's that word? Um, homage. I mean, not homage because it's it's literally it's like Easter a direct egg. link, you know? Um, yeah, yeah. I forget the fucking word. Easter egg. It, I don't know. It's like character correlation. You know, it's the same. Anyway, I, I just want to before we jump to another thing. Uh, I had a friend in the theater. After that scene happened, he looked at me. He's like, "Are they gonna do the Hobgoblin storyline?" I'm like, "Are you fucking insane? You know how many storylines are going on in this theater in this movie right now? And you're like, they're gonna introduce Hobgoblin." Anyway, they got Ned, who's who Ned and the, his friend Ned in the comics because of Hobgoblin. He's he's one of the Hobgoblins. I don't know if you knew that. I mean, that's that's all fine and shit, right? Yeah. Because I love Genki. Oh yeah. But that being said. The route that they're going with Ned in the sh in the movies, yeah, way better, way fucking better. Oh yeah, they're yeah. Giving him fucking magic. Spoilers again. They're giving him fucking magic, and that is incredible. Yeah, that was dope. That, that was... That's just gonna help Peter out in the long run. You think he's you gonna know? show up in the new Doctor Strange? We might get a little little end I mean, credits. We might get a little taste of him if 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 if. Uh, I don't think. Actually, I'm not too sure. I don't think. I don't think. We're gonna see Peter or any of his friends in uh, in Doctor Strange. Actually, I think it's gonna be more uh, Doctor Strange and Wanda centric. That's mm. what I think. I, I because I, that even trailer, it, yeah, that trailer, bro, was dope. Dude, dope. I fucking have, i i jumped have, i jumped out of my seat when we saw What If Doctor Strange. I was like, that's what I was saying. Sorcerer Sur fucking Supreme uh, Doctor uh, yeah. Strange. Like yeah. what? Like, are we getting what if Doctor? Like, yeah, that is that, him. That's him. You, are, okay, you're not you're not Marvel, so you cannot confirm this. But, but, I mean, if I mean, that is him. Yeah, I'm gonna get super fucking hyped because because we see in the in the trailer in that little teaser trailer mm -hmm. we see Rachel McAdams, a character also in a wedding dress mm -hmm. and shit mm -hmm. like that. We see two different Wandas in the poster and three different um, Stranges in the poster as yeah. well. So I'm just like, oh, we're gonna have something going on here. You know, you know, we're get Bruce Campbell's in it. I want, I want Wanda to be part of the the problem. I want Wanda. I, I, okay, so this is funny because this is actually going in line with my fucking. Th this was my theory for the next phase. I, okay. I wanted Wanda to be the big bad because oh. of like House of M type shit. Yeah, and it yeah. Would be the first time. It would be the first time that Marvel ever took one of their heroes and turned them into a villain, right? right? Like yeah. movie-wise, especially. Yeah, movie. But like, because because literally, it... they're taking literally that same fucking concept and they're just using Doctor Strange. Yeah. It's yeah. literally my idea, but Doctor Strange. <laughs> I don't and think I'm okay with that. I I don't think they're gonna do House M yet because the way WandaVision By ended. The end of this movie, we're gonna open the doors to mutants. That's what a lot of people are saying that we may actually see some I don't, of i don't know i don't know about seeing mutants but we will open the door to mutants for sure one thing that caught my eye in that trailer and it was the marvel studios logo it was all the logos ever ever made for every marvel movie mm -hmm. so Did that you notice that that creature with the tentacles yeah what, what it's is not that? shuma gorath and i want it to be shuma gorath from so capcom bad, it's not, <laughs> from Cap it's not. <laughs> that would have been awesome yeah, we're to gonna have Shuma Marvel vs. Capcom and the fucking Doctor Strange. No, 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 because Sh Shumagorath is Marvel. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Shumagorath is yeah, Marvel. Know. He's one of the Marvel characters. But he was but, in Marvel. He was like he was he was Marvel vs. Capcom, right? He was in Marvel vs. Capcom. Okay. He was a great character. I used yeah. to love fucking playing with him. Yeah. I used to play him and Nightmare and uh, uh, Venom. That was my team. It was fucking great. MV MVC two is my fucking favorite. Yeah, there's there's rumors. Well, not rumors. People are petitioning uh, Disney to do a remake, or a remaster, or something. They better not turn that shit 3D because I hated three. Yeah, that's fair. No, the animation is um, beautiful. Don't. But don't, yeah, don't... if it was Shuma Garath, it would have been so much cooler. But I think it's some other creature named uh, Gigantis or something like that. Or uh, uh, it's it's like some other. Hold on, let me see if I could get the name. So, so Sam Raimi is directing this one, which I'm excited for. It looks like he's making it into a horror movie. And I don't know if it's it been- It doesn't look that much of a horror though. With that trailer, bro, it seems still more action. Like, yeah. I, I, I want fucking horror if you're gonna make it into I, a I horror movie. Well, I think, I think we'll see. I don't, we'll see. Cause I know the other director left. 
before i don't know if he was the original director but there was another director attached and he left because there was creative differences i think he wanted to make more of a horror so i don't know if and like that's the whole point if yeah. you're gonna fucking say horror and, you, and you're gonna get sam you raimi better fucking get, give us horror you know but what do you think about the rumors that bruce campbell might show up and we might get a little evil dead cameo I don't think there's gonna be an Evil Dead cameo. No. But, <laughs> but you know, you know what I noticed. What? Bruce Campbell was in all three. Spider Man. Yes, he was. One. He defeated. So he's gonna show he, up. He's gonna show up as just a doormat. That's what's he, gonna happen. And he defeated Spider Man twice. The, the third time he was just a waiter. But, yeah, the but that's what I'm saying. Like he was one of those basic fucking characters. He's not gonna be like important, you know. Well, there was the wasn't there a thing where Sam Raimi in the in the original third movie or the fourth movie he was gonna have Bruce Campbell be Mysterio, but just like not not as a major villain role, just like oh, and you see him get arrested and he has the Mysterio outfit on. I remember reading that somewhere. I, I I don't know. I mean, I didn't care for the third movie. Just yeah, it was either I, there... I want to erase it off of my memory. <laughs> yeah, rewatch that shit. That shit. Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy fuck, that move that like like you could tell Sam Raimi did not give a so fuck, fuck about because, Venom. He did because, he like, did not care about Venom. Even after all those years. Oh yeah. Gargantos. See, I was right. Gargantos. Gargantos. Gargantos is the creature in the fucking the the, the trailer. He it's not Shumogorath. Uh, and, and that's the thing that upsets me. I want it to be Shumogorath. It's still time for them to change it. <laughs> I changed things around, you know? You never know. Maybe maybe there's different versions of that monster. I mean, they're two separate entities, but possibly, you know, it's Marvel, it's MCU. They can do whatever the yeah, fuck they want. You know, now they're getting into this multiverse, so they can show you red and say it's green, and then <laughs> you know, have you believe that it's fucking green? Right, right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, did you have you watched all the Hawkeye? Yes. That, you... that that fucking kingpin, beautiful. Did you notice what I told you? Oh, I still haven't. I still in haven't. The earlier episodes, when I still, he squeezes the little girl's cheek and shit like that, it's his voice and it's his fucking hand. Bro. I got, I got looked that up because I, I remember I was reading an interview and the creator was like, "Yeah, I put a lot of hints and stuff that people didn't yeah, catch up." Dude, I was like, "What the did. fuck?" I was like, <laughs> "I was like, how did I miss that?" But dude, I you just like gotta stop popping edibles before watching Hawkeye, bro. That's all it is. Well, I, don't, I don't know if I did for Hawkeye. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I, I fucking love that. Uh, I, I I was very curious. How, they really juiced up Kingpin in this, and I know I he's. Mean, I don't know if he's juiced up, but I just feel like they just they they showed him for what he truly is yeah. in this Marvel it, show, rather than in the more grounded Netflix yeah. real world kind of situation. You know, yeah. like we're seeing a kid that can get hit by a fucking. A train multiple times. Yeah, he got hit. <laughs> yeah. Homie got slammed by a giant fucking cinder block uh, 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 pole or whatever the yeah. fuck that was. And and I'm, honestly, I think the only thing that saved him from that was the Iron Spider suit. Because if he had a regular suit, bro, he would have been fucking dead, I feel. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah, I he gets hit by these big ass things. So they needed to like fucking power him up or like not even just show what how he truly is in in the in this universe i wonder so if i feel like they did good dude because no that no, fight they, no, with, no, with, no. Uh, oh yeah it was all so great in in spider-man yeah that fight between oh that was real that, I, I, I was like i was watching the fucking video game it was yeah, like playing yeah, it was yeah. like playing a, uh, the the, uh, the spider-man <laughs> fucking marvel spider-man yeah the, you talk about the end scene on the the statue of liberty bro in, in in the whole game the first fucking kingpin fight was like it too yeah 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 you're right that's a good point um another good point about that movie something electro mentioned about being in the mcu universe that he, he didn't know spider-man bro he didn't yeah, know but, who he was but he also that's yeah that's <laughs> he didn't have the identity of that spider-man well that yeah that's definitely a loophole I, but he did mention but yes, that he wanted he, spider-man he... to be black and, and miles yeah is black and spanish and and yes he's from brooklyn and we already have a taste of him because childish gambino's character or donald glover is his, his uncle yeah by that name no more um, okay donald glover's character is 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 prowler is his yeah. uncle yeah like that shit is incredible so we already have an in for a, a black spider-man or yeah. a spanish spider-man like 
it's just when and where. And and uh, honestly, the kid that I want the most from it is that kid from Stranger Things. I forget his name. Oh, but, but that kid from Stranger Things. Uh, let me search it up. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, he would be. Yeah, fuck. That would be dope. Let me um, see if I can find it. But the one thing Electro said when he was in the MCU is that he felt a power there. He never felt before. There's like a power in this in this universe. Yeah, and also in this universe, technology is just way more fucking advanced. Yeah. Like, like think about it. Like, I had a, there was a lot of people complaining about how things became super convenient at the end of the fucking movie. Uh, fucking Sir Charlie, uh, Moist Critical, also was c complaining about this. And it's like, my guy, you don't realize that one, ad uh, advancements in technology are way beyond the ones that from those prior worlds in the MCU. One. Two, the power of a fucking sun. That was the end goal of, of Doc Ock's yeah. uh, uh, whole plan at the end of part two. Mm -hmm. And that shit was huge. And well, also that, he was holding it in his fucking yeah, hand with a yeah, Stark reactor, bro. Yeah. Um, bro, technology is just way far ahead. Yeah, they, they, they have Tony Stark. And then you also have what happened at the end of Black Panther. Wakanda sharing their technology with the world. Exactly, exactly. And so, also, what, what, made me, what made me scratch my head a little was uh this guy um amazing spider-man his uh andrew garfield spider-man he said oh you guys have magic here too and i was just like wait what magic users were there in any of those movies and there wasn't i thought i thought that was like a joke he was just saying about like oh just like magic just general magic like magic tricks from nah, magicians I thought, I thought he was being serious I, like, mm. I felt like, I th it felt very serious but the kid's name is uh uh caleb mclaughlin yeah, he would be a dope Miles Morales. He would be yeah. fucking a dope that's a, Miles that's a pretty, Morales. That's a pretty. That's a hundred percent. That's a fucking great pick right there. Yeah, I, I love what the MCU do. MCU, MCU does. They 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 have like these little toss away Easter eggs. Like you know how they what they did with the end credit scene with Venom. Um, you see a little bit of the symbiote behind it. I feel like we're, we're not gonna know about that symbiote yeah, for a while. So what's fucking great about that is that we got we got to have tom hardy we literally had a whole movie within two like end credit cuts yeah because <laughs> everybody was mad hyped that tom hardy was gonna be part of the mcu and then yep. after fucking spider-man he flips back he goes yeah back. i love so, that so they did that had, that shit was fucking hilarious a whole movie basically within those two fucking little short cut scenes just so that the fucking symbiote will find peter mm hmm Honestly, I don't think I don't think the symbiote's gonna find Peter first. I think we might see. The only reason why I'm saying this is because they've been playing the character way too much from the beginning. Um, but I think we might see a young, like Flash, uh, version of of uh, of Venom. Oh yeah, you think so? Just because he's been he's been, he's been played every time in that fucking movie, bro. The end of the fucking third one. I mean, the second one. His mom's is not even there to pick him up, and that's a yeah. Big I remember that. Clue. That's a big fucking clue, you know. Like that's okay, something okay. That they did on purpose. I still that's something that they wanted to keep in your mind. I still want Pete to get it first. I, I still want Pete to have it. I still want the original. The origin of Venom is Pete gets it first, then it goes to yeah, Eddie Brock. We're not gonna have Secret Wars. Yeah. <laughs> like. I mean, they, we, who says we don't? I mean, they could do it in the future. This, you know, because the X Men was a part of that, right? Yeah, but that was the whole, that was the whole, like, the Venom symbiote was fucking yeah. massive in that. And, you know, back in black, like, mm -hmm. like, it was the only suit that he had at that moment. Well, even the Russo brothers, the, the directors of Infinity War, they, and all, come back. they, they said they would come back if, if they do a, a, if they do a Secret Wars movie. Dude, I, like, I'd be down, I'd be down. But you know what? I don't feel like Secret Wars is going to happen until, like, a no, phase it's... or two from now. Yeah, you know, you gotta you gotta remember he's he he's we just he was like baby Spider Man like he finally dude, growing up three movie trilogy arc whatever the fuck you six, want to call it if you want if you want to be real six movies no 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 there's three three this first you don't you don't count his other you don't count his other appearances no 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 I I, I don't count those because that's just him being featured but what i'm gonna say is that these three this trilogy this 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 arc whatever the fuck you want to call it yeah this shit was literally an origin story yeah All i know three of those movies were you're right i loved it it was and a new origin we're not gonna fucking get that whole origin all over again and i'm happy about that 
because we got him in three different movies and they were fucking big movies. Now this Spider-Man with the fucking way that they ended it in 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 No Way Home, yeah. that he has the fucking nineties fucking mm-hmm. cartoon costume yep. as his costume. This is Spider-Man as an adult now. Yep. This is him on his own. This is him being who he needs to be. Hundred percent. So like what we're gonna see now is him being a man, not not being a kid. No, oh, yeah, it's crazy that he he literally will have no no help, no attachments, like nothing, nothing. He is Spider Man. He has become Spider Man. This is Spider Man yep. on his own. I love that they made Aunt May pretty much Uncle Ben. Like I, yeah, I was dude, and she said the fucking. Oh, I, I was the only one in the whoa, theater. Whoa. I was the only one in the theater. I got up and clapped. I was like, whoa, I was like, fuck. That was. That Stanley wrote it. I was like, that. That's a great twist. Because everyone's like, where's Uncle Ben? Where's Uncle Ben? And I'm like, nah, ah. like now nah, we don't need Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben, is, he, he's because irrelevant. I didn't want, dude, I cried. I fucking cried. Oh, yeah. The, I didn't all that, want her to die. Oh, that was, really that, was a, that was a fuck. That was but, a fucking. I, but, bro, when she got hit by the glider. Yeah, me too. Blue, yeah, I was like, nah, bro, she's, I, she's not. I she, said she, there's no way she's alive after that. I know, because Norman got hit by that glider once he died. <laughs> bro, she got hit so fucking hard. Yeah, bro. she got fucking tossed. She, for long she and got fucking like, tossed there's toss. no way that she's gonna be able to live from that and then when she got up i was like nah wait nah she, I, I just, she's in shock she's in shock or something i and just it turns out she was the adrenaline yeah, was yeah. fucking pumping you know my man Pikachu. they had to shoot him off her that, Dude, that, that was so fucked bro that was, shit was so like it hurt me so bad but that's green goblin i was like we got the green goblin we got a hundred percent the got green fucking yeah, I, w- I would have loved if he got a new mask. I fucking wanted. You know what I wanted? I what? wanted the hoodie, but I wanted him to keep just the 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 eyes of the visor and put mm, that. And it been like a towel. It You're been right. Like a fucking towel. That but he like, been sick. but fucking uh, not Norman Reedus. What is his name? Fuck, oh, what is it? Uh, Norman Osborn. The actor. <laughs> What's the actor's the name? Actor, Will- William, actor, D- William, no, Defoe. Willem, William Defoe. William Defoe. Willem, no, it's Willem. Willem Dafoe. Yeah, Willem Dafoe. Oh, he fucking killed it with like just Willem every- Dafoe. His 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 face. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that's why he wasn't wearing a mask. His face is amazing right now. Oh yeah 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 for sure for sure. Like he was he was the he's, goblin. He's just he's just a really good fucking actor. Like this goes back fucking ages, dude. Oh yeah. He, okay, going like let let's go back to fucking. Uh, uh, OG Spider Man. Not even. Let's go back to Boondock Saints. Ooh yeah yep. Yeah. Like. What the fuck? Like he mm-hmm. was a character in that. Hundred percent. And his acting was phenomenal, bro. Phenomenal. Yeah. And then let's 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 come let's come back a little a little <laughs> more recent a little more recent. The lighthouse, bro. Oh yeah. The he lighthouse. Was... Yeah. That movie. I watched it. No, I watched it. It's dope. That movie's so good. I had to watch it because like a friend of, when they casted um Robin Patterson's Batman. And I was like, oh, well, you know what? Uh, we'll see. And then my friend was like, shut up. Watch these movies. Lighthouse and Good Time. Good Time, bro. Good Time is such a great fucking... Okay, Good Time it's is fucked up movie. It's a... that yes. ended up making Uncut Gems. Yep, yep. And that's they what, give yep. you... Those, both of those movies give you the same fucking feeling. Straight up anxiety. Yes! 100%. Yeah, 100%. Anxiety and the... I know, we're, and just fucking horrible... T- not like a bad ending, but just like... You're not going to leave feeling well. You're no, gonna no, be like, no. It's, it's hella realistic. Yeah, it's realistic. Yeah. No, I, 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 it was, it's poetic. It's poetic, Shakespearean. Like that scene with him in the car when he's arrested, and yeah. re- remember he gives like the uh, the speech to the guy, like, "Oh, you're just a fuck up." You, yeah. you know, blah blah. And then I'm, he's in the car and he has that look in his face, and I'm just like, "Oh no, he's the fuck up." He was talking about himself. He's the fuck mm-hmm. up. I was like, bro, I that fucking, I I love it, bro. Yeah, I, Robert I Patterson's Batman. I'm excited. I'm seeing that shit. Oh, IMAX. Yeah, for sure. I've, I've fucking, been excited from that oh. first fucking teaser, dude. That first teaser when when he looked up and he said, "I'm vengeance, not yeah. I'm Batman." I fucking screamed because Are, it's the first time ever, mm-hmm, ever mm-hmm. that we got that. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna people are finally gonna see a real brutal raw young. I want, I want it even more because it's year two Batman. Yeah, it's not year one. It's yep. not fucking year thirteen. Is it's, ba- it's fresh Batman that's still getting his bearings and and finally making connections. It's but not he, yeah the the beginning. Oh, I need to. No, this is Batman in his prime. No, this is Batman in his prime. 
This is no, I mean, not even in his prime because he's still making mistakes. He's yeah, still gonna be, he's but he's, still gonna be he, you know, he's off of fucking sides of buildings and, and, and clipping them and shit like that. He's, that's, he's still gonna that's walk into bullets, real, you know, that's that's what's gonna make it real. But the fact that they're they're keeping it real with the, the, the story as well that that he takes the gun and makes the, the breastplate on his chest, the chest plate, mm-hmm. fucking a well, target. Yeah, he makes it a target because they're gonna shoot at him there. And, and and having it be bulletproof is fucking genius because they did that in the fucking comic, you know? I, yeah, I love that line. And anybody that knows Batman, uh, like Red Hood, is like, don't shoot at his chest. That's the most bulletproof part of his yeah, body. Exactly. You got to shoot at his fucking mouth. Yeah, look at his, shoot his fucking mouth. Literally uh, he, the only place that you can shoot at this guy. Did you ever read the, the, the Joker one story by Brian Azario? Like that beautiful artwork? I think it's just called Joker. Oh, I know which one you're talking about. I never got to read it. Oh, I did su- flip through it. There's such a good line that the Joker says to Batman. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you, but it, it's just about the fact that Batman has his chin out. He's like, you, like you're a fucking asshole for showing you. Like it's, a, it's a whole bit. Joker tells him. He's like, you don't think we know what you're doing? Showing that perfect chisel chin. And it's like, did, did Batman do that on purpose to talk people? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But, I mean, the Joker, is, that's what I love about the Joker. He, like, and, and Green Goblin, too. He makes too. fucking think. Yeah, both both of the villains are, are like, they're fucking just, they'll do whatever. But, but they have but a message. Also, but also, like, this, going back to Spider-Man, this, this Green Goblin that we got in No Way Home, like, caught me. Dude, yeah. Because it was very conflicting. Like, it wasn't, like, they, it was Norman Osborn, good guy, fucking victim. For the right. for the for the first whole half, like I didn't break the mask. Yeah, and everything, bro. When he goes to Aunt May and everything, that was that was good guy victim. But he was Norman. stealing the food in the background. He was stealing the food because he was fucking hungry, bro. He's just literally teleported there after like almost dying. I I took that 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 scene as he was pretending to be good. I nah, felt like nah, he was... nah, 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 nah. no. It, you have to you have to rewatch the shit. It was right. more. It was it. it this is a man suffering from mental illness. Yeah. A mental uh-huh. illness being another split personality that has control, that can turn it off. Because mm-hmm. the time, the, when, the only time when he actually flipped back to be evil was when Peter was trying to figure out who was the, what was happening in, in the house. And, 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 and that whole scene is incredible. Oh, because so good. that whole scene proves that, that this Spider-Man's spider sense is more powerful than any fucking other mm-hmm. spider-man that we've had mm-hmm. because he was able to tell that somebody was gonna do something before they even fuck did it bro well isn't that why he said the line in an in in avengers if any war that he didn't feel so good that was his spider sense oh yeah yeah that was his spider sense letting him know that that he was gonna fucking go <laughs> that, that he's gonna die starting to happen. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, dude. That shit's fucked. That shit caught me too. I, I started fucking crying hard body. Oh, yeah. I remember, yeah, I remember watching Infinity War not appreciating the ending because I was sitting there being like, motherfucker, they're coming back next movie. Shut the fuck up. Well, well, I mean, everybody who watched it was expecting, well, not everybody, but a lot of people that watched it were expecting another Avengers movie because the title is Avengers. It's mm. not an Avengers movie. That's a Thanos movie from start to finish. Yeah, 100%. And, and, and the way that they finished it was fucking elegant. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. It was so fucked, but I love it, what... left you, it left you wanting that next chapter. I you know? love watching that shit with people that haven't watched it that, that that don't know. Like, I think I watched it with my wife's, uh, her mom, because she was getting into Marvel stuff. And I was like, oh, you haven't watched it anymore? Do you know what happens at the end? No. Oh, let's watch this. <laughs> <laughs> let's watch this. You just you just get fucking energy off of people's tears and shit like that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Give me your power. Yeah, like, I finally got my mom to watch, because uh, she grew up with Star Wars. Uh, yeah. she, I finally got her to sit down to watch The Force Awakens, and she didn't know anything about it, anything about Han Solo. So I was like, oh, she's invested in these characters. I was like, oh, yeah, the old cast comes back. Oh, that's cool. Let me see. And then she was like, oh, my God, is he dead? <laughs> I was like, well, he fell off. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe I'm fucked up. I don't know, bro. I felt, I felt like... 
like the way that they uh, they portrayed this Norman Reed, this, this Norman Reed, this motherfucker. That's why I wanted to talk to you in the, the first place, because Norman Reedus. But yeah, the, the way that they, they did this Norman Osborn was fucking genius because oh, God, yeah. the only time that, like I said, the only time where he like switched over just and he was out, officially was full hey, pull me yeah. back, uh, pull me back, Green Goblin yes. was when he told them, oh, now it's now you can go back, you know, like we can, mm-hmm. we can put an end to this. We can, you're finally cured. And, and, and other Green Goblin was like, Jeremy. It was like, nah. He's like, we're gods. Yeah, Uh, yeah. I gotta see that movie again. Fuck, I want to see that movie again. I definitely want to see it again as well, dude. Honestly, like, if shit wasn't so crazy, I'd probably go see it again. But shit's it's insane. Uh, yeah, that that, that's another reason I didn't go see the Kingsman. I was like, uh, do I really want to go theater right now? (laughs) Yeah, dude. Like I was saying in chat earlier, I want shit to fucking close down already. I want Uh... shit to close down again because. Because too many people are fucking catching this shit, and yeah. nothing's fucking happening about it. <sighs> yeah. Well, anyway, <laughs> just let me get yeah, it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We just <laughs> we, we we went from fake like like fake shit to real shit, real real quick, fast. I apologize. I apologize. No, no worries, man. Uh, did you want to talk about Matrix or wait next time, next break? Uh, uh, you know what? Fuck it. We're here. Let's let's talk about Matrix. Let's let's make your your, your break extra fun. Yeah, Sneaky's just playing the sad Hulk music. Use your words, Sneaky. Use your words. Use your words. All right, we're, we're going to talk uh, about Matrix, and then I'll get back to playing Max Payne, all right? Calm down. I'm, I'm wearing the Batman costume with a cardigan. This shit's choking me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you shouldn't complain. He did fucking put that card, bro. Yeah, he did. It's true. <laughs> all right, Matrix Resurrections. We're going full spoilers. I'm putting the picture up here. Yeah, put up put up uh, the spoiler warning. Let's wait at least like a minute or something so that people who do come in to watch like the VOD or anything like that, they, if they don't want to get spoiled, then, you know, right. they can just peace out or something. Spoilers, spoilers, or, spoilers. Or pr- 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 fast forward. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll, 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 I, I, when I save the highlights, I put it in the description. Yeah, yeah. Just playing Halloween. Why are you playing the Halloween team? <laughs> All right, so puppet, are you are you a fan of the Matrix? When when did you, when did you first see the first Matrix? Let's start there. I watched the first Matrix, I believe, in theaters. Yeah, as, as a kid. Same. Growing up. Did it confuse and the then, sh- Did it confuse the shit out of you like it did as me as a kid? Not the not the first one so much because the first one was more like, oh shit, this is crazy, like. He's not part of the real world, and this is the real world, and yeah, like I, I like I, that part didn't really confuse me because it was very fucking white and black, you know, right. very plain cut. But everything that comes after it is is the confusion, you know. Like that's, yeah, that's fair. Those sequels, I'd say, like two and three get a little more confusing than one. One is simple. One is more like, hey, this guy, he's important. He's sort of like the next coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, we need to get Sneaky him. Sneaky Mimicent now like, to tell you now I'm in the Matrix. I'm in the Matrix. Um, <laughs> I feel, I feel like... Did you like, is, did you like the sequels? I like, okay, so I like one and two. Two has a place in my heart just yeah. because they showed us, like, the whole scenes with the archi- the, the, uh, the, the key maker mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and the architect and all the scenes with, like, the vampires and shit like that. Yeah. I fucking love because these are these are things from previous renditions of the Matrix that I, are still here. I love everything between him and Agent Smith, like the the whole archetype. This, this okay. whole okay, I, I get I, that too. I, get I, that. I really love like the the, the, the dynamic, their fights. I, I even... like I like I like the dynamic and as well, but the, the fights kind of. It was okay. So even even back then, like <laughs> CG wasn't as good. As, no, no, no. As yeah, no. Yeah, it is now. Are we watching that? Like, that shit like, looks silly. It, yeah, I, I I laugh at it because it's so fucking bad. One, but it's yeah. so bad that it's good. Yeah, because what you got to think about it, you have to think about it like this. Especially watching part two with that fucking crazy fight scene with all the Smiths and, oh, and I, lo- I love that. Like that. I, I love and that shit. When he takes the pole and he starts yep. fucking going in circles and shit like that. Like, like we have to think about it like this. They're, they're, they're. This is all a computer, right? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Like they're processes. Right? Yeah. Both of them. They're individual processes, right? Mm-hmm. They're going so fucking hard. Mm-hmm. That the computers try to fucking keep up. That's, so that's why the fucking, all the Smiths, yep. Neo and shit like that, they all look buggy and they look trash. I had that thought, the computer, bro. The computer can't fucking do it, bro. The computer can't Bro, do I it. had that thought. I had that thought rewatching it recently. I was like, you know what? This is a fucking computer. It, 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 I've been playing games. If you have too much shit, it breaks down. This is what happened. Exactly. Exactly. This is what happened. <laughs> Trinity had to yell at Neo. Get the fuck out of there. You're going to break shit. Come on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but so anyway. Like, that's, the, that's the only reason why I can like. Yeah. If you think it like you know? that. Yeah. But then we get to three. And I, I fucking. I didn't like three at all. I didn't get a chance to rewatch three. I, 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 I mean, I haven't watched it in years. Um, but when I. F- Originally watched it. I liked it. And it, it might be... I felt It might fall for that old trap of like... Oh, the last part of a movie is good. So I think the whole movie is good. Because like, you know, the whole fucking him... That, that ages... The fucking Dragon Ball Z Asia Smith fight they have. I, yeah. that, sh- that shit was... Oh, that shit's still epic to me. Like, holy... It's f- epic as fuck, yes. But like for three, the ending... Like the fact that Neo's what fucking partially blind and yeah. trinity's driving that giant ship into yeah. into the core and shit like that like i don't I, I didn't know if i wanted that you know like i get it he's it's, like yeah. he's like jesus you know yeah. like and it was like against all to die yeah it was in, against all to... odds like it's it's a fucking bleak ending like it's an ending that i've never I, like i i just eventually accepted like I, you know yeah, I, yeah. It, that, no it's an ending that you have to accept because yeah. there's nothing nothing you could really fucking like like there's nothing that we can really do about it because that was the story that was given well well they try to change it did you play the path of neo game no no i did not play any of the matrix games hold it that clear i did not play any of the matrix games they tried first. to change the ending in the path of neo want, i didn't want anything else after watching that third <laughs> <laughs> Damn. All right. Well, yeah. In Path of Neo, they 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 changed that ending because the whole Path of Neo is you replaying the events as Neo through all the films. And that final fight you know scene, what? they the changed. That you're even talking about Path of Neo is great because it's a smooth <laughs> transition to the movie. Let's go. Yeah. So in Path of Neo, I don't know if people know this. Uh, instead of Neo sacrificing himself in the pit, uh, you know, you still have that flying fight scene in the game. And then the Wachowski at the time brothers, now sisters. Um, we'll just say the Wachowskis. The Wachowskis, yeah, there you go. Uh, c- come on, kind of on screen as as digital characters and explain that. Oh, you know, the original ending is all this philosophical mumbo jumbo. Blah, 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 blah. We just thought it'd be cool if you fought a giant Agent Smith made of out of all the other Agent Smiths. So that's what's gonna happen right now. And that you fight a Mecha Agent Smith. <laughs> that's how it ends. <laughs> That's terrible. I don't even remember anything after that. I was like, I don't. Even, I was like, bro. Even I was just playing. I was like, this is fucking dumb. It, I was like, so pissed off. This is fuck. Are you fucking yeah. kidding me? Next hey, fuck. Let's get some Matrix Resurrections where wait, we wait, finally. Wait. Go ahead. That was okay. Never mind. Just keep on saying what you're gonna say. I was just. I was just segueing to Matrix Resurrections. Heads up, anybody tuning in right now. <laughs> Spoilers for Ma- Matrix Resurrections. I'm gonna flash the flash this. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Do that. So we finally get a new ending to the Matrix story. I I think. I, I don't I don't think this is a new ending. I think honestly this is gonna be a this is gonna be a start of a new trilogy, bro. This you is think so? Be, this is under, you know. I feel like it go it could go either way. So honestly, we- if it makes money, yeah, there's gonna be a sequel, hundred percent. Well, that this is the thing I like. I liked about this movie is the the meta commentary about reboots. Bro, the and whole it, fact that this the, the whole movie, like the whole first half of the movie, was all meta, meta, meta. Yeah. You know, like they were spoon feeding you shit, literally, like giving you clips from OG movies and, and literally, and literally giving you fucking lines, yep. line reads from OG movies, like like. Not, I don't know if many people would have fucking noticed that right off the jump unless they were a real straight up like Matrix fan, like a hardcore fan, because they didn't have to give us that flash of Smith when yeah. when when the boss fucking turns around and gives us that first line because mm-hmm. that's exactly what the fuck Smith says, mm-hmm. you know? Like, did yo did you notice that the agent that 
Trinity, fake Trinity was fighting uh, on the roofs is the same agent that she was fighting in the OG movies, just older. It's, it's the same guy. No. Yeah, dude. Wow. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah, that's so that shit, that shit made me happy <laughs> so so it sounds like you liked it i i, I enjoyed it i enjoyed I, it uh, okay i have some some quarrels with it okay so let's start with you want to start with what we liked and then we'll go to quarrels we to do that let's 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 sort of do like a like a little like a this is gonna be like a little little in depth right like we're gonna we're gonna be in depth sorry we're gonna be uh talking like in detail about story and shit like that right yeah that was already uh, spoiler right, warning so for matrix let's resurrection do like let's do like a, a sort of like a little breakdown of like what happens in the movie and then we'll go into like what we liked about it and what we disliked uh fuck where uh do you want to start that? <laughs> yeah 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 sure <laughs> go sure. ahead perfect so so we 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 get oh fuck how does the movie start <laughs> we get the og scene but it, so, not the same. Yes, we, we get the OG scene, right? Trinity. We're, we're watching. We're watching as if we're a third party, but watching over the shoulder of another person trying to like experience the first Matrix, right? Yeah. And we think we think that it's them trying to experience the first Matrix, but it's not. It's it's a setup just so that we could be introduced to a new character. Certain programs. No, it's it's more of a setup so that certain programs within the matrix can stay sort of in that in that pathway, you know, mm -hmm. in that it, it was what was called a a, a mobile model, yeah, model, yeah, a modal, yeah, yeah. So so the modal was was made so that they can keep certain processes, you know, in check and mm -hmm. in there, but. Given the matrix and the way it fucking works, these processes are going to realize that they're not, you know, who they think they are or they're not supposed to be doing what they were doing. Right. So we're watching this and then we get to the scene on the on the top of the house where on top of the apartment complex and shit like that, where where Trinity is supposed to be all badass and shit like that. And, yeah, like, and get away and changes. Yeah, everything fucking changes because new agent smith shows up and new agent smith doesn't look like old agent smith just saying mm -hmm. <laughs> new agent smith uh is actually a fusion a culmination of two previous characters that we know and love mm -hmm. smith and morpheus yeah I, lo morpheus, <clears throat> I love that they did that by the way that was that was a dope fucking incredible it's genius yep. it's genius i love I really love that character's attitude where he was just shitting. He's like, blah, blah, you know, the choice, blah, oh, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I you, fucking you know, love that. You know what? It's, it's also because it's it's not even, like, shitting on it. It's just, it's all been said before. You don't yeah. need me to say this again, you know? That, that, that's, like, like, part I of the meta, to, to, meta reboot to joke. Re, reawake you because you're trapped in this shit again, my dude. Yeah, exactly. And, like... The begin the, like the beginning of the movie with with its whole like reboot meta commentary, uh, I loved. But at the same time, I was like, okay, but you guys are you have a commentary and you're making jokes, and little digs about it. I but you but you're also doing the same thing. So it's like I was getting a little frustrated there. And then when the when when we finally when the, when the story when Neo actually wakes up again, when the story like we finally found out like what happened. That's why I was like, oh, all right, here we go. This is what I want to see. Like that whole beginning okay. was kind of frustrating me a little. So, like, so what frustrated me is 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 being hand fed, you know? Yes, yes. Like, like I said before, they didn't have to show. They didn't have to show any of the clips and shit like that. They could have just had them saying the shit that they were saying. I felt like know? they had like, to show that they. Go ahead. Sorry. It, it's just I feel like. Those are sort of like Easter eggs. And yeah. you giving us the clip makes it not an Easter egg anymore. It yeah. makes it a, 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 an obvious fucking blatant statement that you're that you're short you're sort of shoving down people's throats, right? Mm -hmm. And they're fucking talking about all this meta shit and meta shit and oh like it's been done before and we have to do something different, yet at the end of the movie they sort of end up doing the same fucking shit yeah i felt like they they 
so, somebody i don't know that was a weird choice but i just i honestly okay so so let's let's uh let's let's talk about smith and morpheus being fused into one because yeah. i i want to i want to really touch on that because it's 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 important to the story and it's important to to neo because mm. in the first movie what makes neo neo is the fact that morpheus comes to him from the beginning and, and starts training him and teaching him and yeah. shit like that mm. but then smith being his fucking evil counterpart being a a, a, a virus not just an agent a virus that wants fucking free will brings clashing ideas to to the way that neo thinks as well so it's it's literally the two people that birth neo to be neo mm -hmm. in one character in this movie and i really respected that i really like that because yeah. it literally is in those those two characters were the foundations of neo yeah it's true and and just to reiterate that uh this new morpheus is isn't a person they're a program oh i fucking love that shit. that when they when they go into the real world he's not a real person he's just the fucking ai uh loader or whatever the fuck it's called shader yeah that, that shit was so cool like like i said once we get back to the like real world shit like i was like okay this is like seeing all the the advances, the upgrades. Seeing that there, that Neo did make it, even Neo himself, when he's finally reawakened, he's, he's like, "Did I die for nothing?" Because everything's the same. Is like that no line. That line when he goes like, "It feels like everything I did was for nothing." Yeah. And then and then uh, like honestly, I swear to fucking god, dude, the main character looks like they could be a child of Neo and fucking Trinity, man. Yeah, yeah, Bugs, yeah, but I love Bugs. Bugs looks like she was, I, I thought the whole time, yo, I was like, watch this, watch her be the fucking love child and shit, dog. Nah, I mean, they, still, they didn't get a chance to, to get a baby out dude, there. <laughs> the fact, the fact that, that they had Bugs show him, no, now machines have free will. Yeah. Now some are choosing to help us some want to help us yes and 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 you've made a difference it, that shit fucking blew my mind bro that shit ugh, it was like yeah, the it, coolest, one of the coolest things i've ever seen yeah the advances with them the machine uh teaming up with the machines like if if you look at this movie oh man yeah like Io none of the beautiful oh yeah beautiful world io this is beautiful 100 like, in the matrix like the fact that the the, Mor the Morpheus program like helps them out. Like nobody, nobody in the real world dies. Like none of the hackers die in this movie. Like in in the OG movies, people were dying nonstop. But in this movie, they go back. She goes back to save her friends at the end with Morpheus, and everyone gets out. I was like, oh yeah, shit! If this is I have an issue with the way the movie like sort of ends. Though. All right, we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, but I just like the the, the advancements and the teamworks between the machines. You see a, a huge difference. Um. I also like that the hacker, the what do you call them? I guess is it the hacker? Like he's he's in them in the in the matrix with them All as a hologram. In the world with yeah. them. Okay, so what I love about that, it's not just um, it's just not just comms anymore, because we're up to technology where like FaceTime's a thing and shit like that. So yeah. like he apparates, like he shows up. Yeah, he's a hologram. Where yeah, he's basically like in a hologram that they can only see though. Yeah. I love that. And that's that's fucking genius, and I love that about that. That that yeah. made me super happy, of, uh, like in this movie. Because in the old movies, they would have to call them in a, on a cell phone. Yeah, yeah. And then, the, or they would have to be like ear, like wired or some shit like that. Yeah. Then the the advancements with the with the agents that are now bots. That are spring. Okay. okay. So agents, I felt like agents were like scary and shit like that in the first movie yes once neo becomes like he knows who he is and shit like that by the end of that fucking first movie agents just we're all just like giant pussies honestly the yeah, only he was, thing it, that, yeah he was just the, slapping them around <laughs> yeah. yeah the only thing that that really scared um or not scared but like was a, a real threat was was smith taking over the other agents yeah now, like that smith, yeah that shit is is a little more a little more crazy and and you, you, it's 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 a little more uh i want to say impactful to the storyline because yeah it shows the 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 power that smith has you know 
So you didn't you weren't a fan of the the bots? I don't like that these agents were trash. One. <laughs> I don't like that anybody could be activated. But I I, I don't think it wasn't anybody. It was just like he sprinkled just bots. Bro, 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 bro. A lot of these people were being activated all over the fucking place. What? So much so that they were throwing themselves out fucking windows and shit like that. There you well, go. That's, that's that's what I have an issue with. That's the, well, that's the scene I want to point. Warm mode or fucking zombie mode or whatever the fuck well, you want to call let, it. Let's call it what it really is. Train to Bushan mode. <laughs> no, not even. Not even. Because, because this is this is more like World War Z mode. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. Because right. these motherfuckers were throwing themselves on top of each other and shit like that. Like, like okay, I get you want to have an impactful fucking, like, uh, impactful story. And the way that, that it ends, it has to be a little different and shit. But there's no, there was no need for, for that fucking swarm mode or whatever well, the fuck it only, it it all, that ultimate swarm happened, well the ultimate swarm mode happened because smith took, took control of them like he took full control of all the bots no because it was it was it was multiple entities yeah he's swarm, swarm mode wasn't because of the bots okay swarm mode was because of the architect you mean the analyst who is the the new architect yeah the new architect but here's the thing with that scene i i thought because anybody could be that, what that fight was was a three-way fight bro between it wasn't a two-way fight at the end what are you talking about so the architect is the one who i mean okay the analyst let's let's, let's say that, yeah him, how, how the, the new architect the analyst movie. neil patrick new architect. neil he's patrick yeah neil patrick harris's anyway, character the analyst is trying to make sure that neo stays in check 100% from the get, once they showed him, once they introduced him as a fucking character, blue glasses, blue shirt, blue pants, and everything. I was like, ah, oh, he's in there as a, as a safety protocol. He's a safety uh, protocol. He's been in 100%. I already, I already knew he was bad from the jump because... Yeah. I thought, he was, I thought he was like the new Agent Smith, but we, we got that from no, someone no, no. else. He is the one who's in control of all these other fucking bots and shit like that. Yeah, that's he what he's... The yeah. one, he is the one who... who, who who slows down Neo's bullet time shit in order to cuz he knows the, the he knows the way that they work as processes. Oh yeah, that 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 scene where he uses bullet time against them was genius. Exactly. I love Exactly. So he I knows how, love they, that. how they work as processes. He's the one who basically created this fucking world. It yeah. wasn't Neo who created this world yeah. because it was like a world within a world when they were in the modal. Yeah, you but know he, what I'm saying? But he was using Neo and Trinity to power this new matrix. Well, 100%. Yeah. But he also knows this new matrix. He's using everybody who's connected. It's not Neo and Trinity. It's literally everybody. But here's the thing with the bots. It's, it's the, the, the bots aren't everybody because that one scene at the end, you have one bot get out of bed and run out the window and the other lady stays, she's just confused. Out. Yeah, so I was just yeah, like- she's freaking out. So yeah, it's not it's not it's not a hundred percent everybody because not everybody wants to be a part of the matrix. Yes, that's another thing you saw in here is that when you see the real world and drive by the pods, the pods are there's just missing spots. You look at the old yeah. movies, it was just all people. So the bots are just just bots. They're just they're not real people. That's so, what I so so some of the bots must be real people that are choosing to be willing like willingly in the matrix bro oh because okay even the analyst says that oh, okay and with that being said because there's people who are willing to be in the matrix who wants to stay in this in this right in this like blind like willing willful blindness that's how smith can be anybody he wants yeah because like the last line he says is literally i can be anybody and he yeah. fucking leaves and it's a different person yeah he's like neo you've always been somebody so, but i can be anybody i love that yeah so there you go that, that's what makes you fucking realize oh no this battle wasn't wasn't just a two-way battle this was a three-way battle and smith ends up helping neo because he wants the same thing that neo wants essentially they just both want freedom they have yeah, different he, ideas of how to get there and, and what to do with it. Yeah, because he was but like, he didn't believe Neo could defeat this guy. Freedom. 
Because that's why he was trying to kill him. He's like, oh, you're not, you're, you're not able to defeat this guy. He's just going to put you back under. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So it turns out to be a giant three-way fight because the architect has control over, over everything, bro. The I architect... thought I, I felt like Smith took over because he took out the the, the architect analyst, whatever the fuck you want to call him. He took him out. I know he wasn't fully dead, but but like... I felt that it was a. It, I could see why you see a two way fight, a three way fight. I don't know. I I don't feel like it was it was Smith in control of the people throwing themselves out the window and shit like that because that's just not how Smith works. Oh, I f I feel that's that's exactly how Smith works. He would weapon. Nah, nah he would, because if, if 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 that was the case, bro. If that was the case, why wouldn't he just turn all these other fucking bots into him again? Why would he have? Why would he have to when he just controls them? You just let them do whatever he wants. Because he is the perfect being. <laughs> he is the perfect virus. Yeah. You he, think about it like that. Well, he he, he kind of that's the, another thing. He treats those people like a virus. That, that that's why they were like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Like this has never been well, done Smith, before. Smith is a virus. Yeah, yeah. He's a perfect virus. What what did you feel about? Smith being played by someone new because it seems like they wanted Hugo Dude, even I wanted I wanted new people We didn't need old people. We didn't even need flashbacks of old people I would have old people that we needed was honestly fucking Neo and Trinity and that's it. I would have loved if they figure out a way for Smith I mean the new guy was fine. He was fine. Yeah, I would have loved it if they found a way to get back fucking uh, uh, Morpheus as well or rat or whatever the fuck his name was that died in the first movie. <laughs> oh Okay, okay Yeah, so you I mean, I you didn't want Morpheus, the real Morpheus, like Lawrence Fishburne to come back. Like Lawrence Fishburne would have been cool. Yeah. But I like this new actor. This new oh yeah, actor, yeah. This actor, he's fucking, he's on top of his shit. Oh, he's amazing, everything. He's an amazing actor. Yeah. So once they said him, I was like, all right, fuck it, I'm I'm cool with that. And I'm apparently, fine. apparently, the Matrix Online MMO is canon to this movie. That's why Morpheus wasn't in it. Because Morpheus That's... died died in the game. That's pretty fucking interesting. Interesting. But yeah. I, I also like with the fact that they killed off like Morpheus as a person, we can have him be that sort of yeah. AI structure that we had in this movie. Well, that's you a, know? The, well, that's How another thing. How are you gonna have a person slide through a tube? Yeah. Well, that's another thing about these like reboots or whatever the fuck you want to call them. That like, especially with, with like Force Awakens, like everybody's alive, everybody's just fine after all these years. It's like no, some people would die, especially in, in like times of war. Like not everyone's gonna be still alive. So that's why I was like, oh, I wish Morpheus would have came back, but the fact that he passed away, it makes sense. Like especially in that world. Sorry, can you repeat that? So I was saying like it, it kind of bu bummed me out that we couldn't get Lawrence Fishburne to come back as Morpheus. But I kind of. But you got him. But you got him as a, as a clip. Huh? They gave you a clip of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got, you got you know, a lot of. Like, yeah. You, you got, you got fucking something. At least you yeah. didn't get any. I mean, at least you didn't get nothing. Yeah, but no, I was saying like it, it would make sense that that character wouldn't be around. Like, what? It, it wouldn't make sense that like, every. Especially if they're making it canonical with the game. Yes. Yeah. Hundred percent. I agree. But that's the thing that bugs me with like reboots of franchises when they bring back like old characters like in Star Wars or Ghostbusters and the, the, they're all fine like everyone's alive and it's like dude some people would have, would have passed away like I don't know I I, I bugged me but I liked it if, if that makes sense it, it like, does make sense because like this movie bugged me with that hive mind shit but I still liked it I still liked it as an overall movie so I thought it was fucking beautiful to see the the machines have sentience. You yeah, know? yeah, that I was that, that that shit right there was fucking beautiful. And also, this is just a love story. Honestly, it's a it's a love letter to the first fucking Matrix. Yeah, it's all it is. Yeah, it, it got me with the very end, which like we'll, we'll get into real soon. But one one thing I want to the fuck was I gonna say? Holy fuck! <laughs> um. I, I will say that the story, I feel like the story was more important in this Matrix than the action. Did you get that vibe? Yeah, yeah, 100%, because I, I have a quarrel with, with also the way that Neo and Trinity were fighting at the end. Oh, I have a quarrel with all the choreography. Oh, it was terrible. Bro, it was I terrible. Felt, <laughs> I felt as if the way they were, I mean, granted, granted, in this Matrix, both Neo and Trinity are fucking old. Yes. Granted. They're older people. They don't even look like they fucking look like at, at, in, in reality. Yeah. And shit like that. 
But that being said, my dude, it felt like like all Neo could ever fucking do was that let stop the bullets. Oh, the oh his his, me, his force push. <laughs> yeah, that shit up. His force push. Like, are yeah. You fucking kidding me? Yeah, you're yeah. Have that fucking fifteen minute sequence of him just doing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and, and for those of y'all that can't can't see me, um, I'm throwing my arms out. To the fucking like forward, and, he's, and just doing that. he's just pushing That's people away. <laughs> just Literally. push people away. <laughs> all right. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I had to break down to a friend that that really hated the movie, and I was like, "Listen, you gotta did remember." You notice, did you notice that he put, he threw in his uh, his own motorcycle company? They changed the Ducatis to the to his motorcycle company. The, uh, Keanu Reeves. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't know that. That's hilarious. Yeah, the bike that she's riding. Uh, not the when they first show her on the Ducati. Uh, yeah. The the second like the the. All the newer bikes, all his company. Oh the name the company. wow! Wow. Um, fuck. What was I say? Yeah, the force push shit was annoying. Um, here's something you gotta remember that that I was telling a friend here because they they fucking hated the movie, and I was like, listen, you gotta remember that Neo and Trinity died, then they got brought back to life, tortured by the machines. That was that scene I was. Know. I don't. I don't think they they officially died though. You don't think they officially died? Trinity was no. dead. I don't Trinity, think officially. I think Trinity was dead, and Neil looked. I mean, Neil debatable, but I think Trinity I, was. I think I think that they were both at the, like at the brink, right? Right. Well, it made it made it seem like in this movie they were dead. Even even the analyst was like, it took a while to bring you right, back. But okay, they thought they were dead because they couldn't find them in the Matrix. They couldn't mm. find them. They couldn't find their real bodies as well. So my my concept is. You saw how they had them isolated from all the rest of those regular ass people in the yeah, Matrix. Yeah. They were solely generating massive amounts of power to jet to, to keep the, this new Matrix up. Mm. From that them. being said, their their bodies, they could have been literally at the brick bro. How many times has Goku been like fucking on the floor dying he's, <laughs> he's fucking fine he's all he's right man he's not he, he it's it's what is when superman died in the comics I, I think, it was a kryptonian coma go ahead um but uh but i i think like they were at the brink they were literally at death's door and the machines possibly it could have been the ones that had sentients that wanted to help help them but since the the ones that that are more fucking this is speculation, but but the ones that that have more control are the ones that don't want to help humans. Yeah, well, well, it made it seem they, that they that, probably found their bodies, brought them to the two to the chambers and shit like that, well, and yeah. then fucking try to restart. You know? Well, it's wasn't because that's the whole purpose. It's the restarting. Yeah, Santi wasn't Santi's dad in, in charge of that program that brought both of them back. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. San Santi was saying that was the, the, the purpose of my father. Like that that scene was hard. That scene was that so hurt. that shit was rough. I was like, oh yeah. my god, these are two characters I love just being brought back to life and tortured. Mm -hmm. But but if you watch any of the Animatrix, that's the kind of shit they did to humans in the beginning when they started putting people in the Matrix. They would just have them chopped in half, testing their organs, testing their nerves to see what works. Yeah, I, I, but also we gotta remember this is what what rendition of the matrix is this i forget well it's it's, it's 60 like, it's 60 years since the the last movie that's all that's yeah but 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 that's hold on oh yeah what version yeah because there's multiple versions bro. there was one that was um everybody had free will and everything went like at perfect shit. then yeah no 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 every, no every, that, things went bad with okay that one. But there, there was the next one. The next one was where they added vampires, monsters, like werewolves and shit like uh, that. Ah, gotcha. And that shit went bad. And then the the one that was perfect was the fucking the 1990s, 1999, right? Mm -hmm. Matrix. That was the perfect fucking timeline. They're like, That's oh why yeah. They kept that one. We get, we but got. I just you. don't yeah. remember what rendition of the Matrix is it. Like what what? Because that I don't know if it's the third or it, could it would be, be the it would be the later on. It would be, I think it might be the sixth one. I was rewatching Matrix Reloaded, and the architect said every time there's a a new anatomy, a new Neo, it he counts that as a sixth iteration of the Matrix. Because when the one comes to him, he's supposed to go into that one room and be absorbed into the source code, and they do like a reboot. 
pretty much like a like a whole reboot of the Matrix. And then he's supposed to pick uh, with the fucking with the TV room, right? Yes. Neo was yeah, supposed yeah. to go into the room. He's watching all the different yeah. choices. He's the sixth version in that movie. Yes, so it's the sixth. It's the sixth version yeah. of the Matrix. Every yeah. time, every time so, he comes so, to, he goes back into the source code. The whole Matrix gets rebooted, and Neo himself has to pick twelve females and six males. That was that was a weird thing. I was like, all right. <laughs> yeah. So so there have been five iterations or cycles of the Matrix. In each stable iteration, an incarnation of the one has appeared. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't so, know I don't know what version this one is. Well, this one would be the seventh, I guess, because it's they said like sixty years passed from the original Matrix. That means that, that nothing else has happened. Since. Yeah, and the machines had a war and then the other faction the machines won. had an internal war. Yeah, civil war. Where yeah. Machines were fighting machines with the aid of humans. I, I, yeah, I really love that. I I I, I want to, they really need, need to make another animatrix because they have a lot of threads here that I would love to be I fully. Heard, I heard that the animatrix was actually really good. I never watched it. Though. Oh, you would fucking love it, dude. Oh, it's so fucking amazing. Yeah. They literally tell you the origin of the like how it happened, how everything happened. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That, okay. that that's that the sense. that's the best. Uh, it's, it's a two parter. It's the best story. I mean, there's a lot of good little uh, side stories in there. That because a lot of people are like, oh, why are all the machines like Pokemon like helping them? I'm like, if you watch the Animatrix, they, they show you that like they were hinting at yeah. that. Yeah. So, yeah, Animatrix is fucking amazing. It's on HBO Max if you got it or. Oh, or... it's on HBO Max. Definitely. I, actually, I wanted to do a, a, a fucking this thing, a rewatch of all of them anyway. Yeah, I, I, w I only got to watch one and two. I didn't get to, to three because then I it's... didn't I didn't bother with the Matrix. I was fine with just watching it. But yeah, Spider-Man. You watch all the Spider-Man or which yeah, Spider because I was like, I, I, I miss I miss Spider-Man. I want to see what's back. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go through all of the renditions because, yeah. you know, with early, early rumors and shit like that, like I, I stood away from all but with rumors, Smart. like rumors and shit like that, they were saying, well, there might be other appearances. So I was just like, let me just watch them to see if I feel like shit like that. And, yeah. and that's why my fucking, like, uh, like our conversation for Spider-Man was a little, like, like a bit much in depth because it was like, it was like, I watched all of that shit and I noticed a lot. I that's noticed funny. That's funny. Well, let's wrap it up here for the Matrix. Um, yeah, like, I didn't like the yeah, core. Yeah. The choreography felt all over the fucking place. Like, Bro. And, and and also like one the of, shots. One of these, one of these regular ass like other people, uh, the 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 people helping Neo and shit like that. Yeah. Like, one of them should have died. Yeah. No. That's. I, one I was, of them should have. That's what I was saying. I was like, oh, it's kind of shocked. None of them died. <laughs> it's it's sort of upsetting, but they wanted like. Sort well, I felt like the reason they didn't die is because they were teamed up with machines. Because when Bugs goes back in to help her friends, Morpheus could just appear with her. Morpheus is a fucking program. He could do whatever. The whole time, he's just doing flips. He's just like, I'll flip here, I'll flip there. All right, I'll do whatever. I don't give a fuck. Okay. But in, inside inside the Matrix, he has a corporeal form. He has, like, he has, he's physical. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he looks like a human, you know? Yeah. So he can do all that shit. But, like, in the real world. Yeah. That's that's when you know the shit is uh, the shit is is more uh, prominent and, and 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 he has to be helpful in the real world physically as well. Yeah, know? he has that that physical. That was a cool. I, I kind of like that. That was dope. I like that. Yeah, because he was very physical in 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 the originals. He was he was both. Like, yeah. In the real world and in the Matrix, he was there. So yeah. so having having him still have an impact like that especially like i said having him be the combination of two fucking giant processes that fucking help this one fucking processes become god or jesus or whatever the fuck like i felt like that was incredible having 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 the two most influential people to yeah. neo be combined that was like, pretty dope yeah fucking great writing right that was dope so you said you weren't a huge fan of the ending. I, I mean, I didn't care for the 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 swarm shit that happened. Towards oh, that. that that's where you bugged. Okay. Well, but what about because the very like, the very the ending, yeah with with okay. So so after all this swarm shit happens, uh, they they okay okay. Well, let's talk about how 
how oh god how <laughs> they were just fucking <laughs> playing neo left and right because he's been swallowing the blue pill yeah every fucking day purposefully like he's choosing to do this um I mean, yeah, he was still trapped, and he can still see shit from the from the from the OG Matrix uh, movies and stuff like that, like memories. He's like still seeing his memories and shit like that. But popping these blue pills so much to the point where he cannot fucking be the one. Yeah, it's sort of it's sort of upsetting. Like I can understand it, but can I get behind it? Not really. Like I understand why you're. Why they're going? Don't want to get canceled, but they had way more female empowerment in this movie, and I, I fucking love that. It's great. It's, yeah, it's amazing, and I and I think it should happen in more action movies because so so usually meet him, so here, here's the confusing thing about the end. I know it looks like they're pretty much saying Trinity is the one because she's flying around and doing. No, they're both the one. Yeah, that's why. But, that's what but, a lot of people. But a lot of people keep think. A lot of people keep also, coming to me, and they keep saying like, "Oh, Trinity's the one." Glazed um, over the fact that, like, Neo was trying to fly and Trinity was holding him up yeah, for that she, long. Like, yeah, like that whole scene is is there way too long. One, it's part of the scene that I was complaining about earlier, where he's just like, <gasps> you know, like, yeah, you know, way too long. You know what's crazy about that but scene? Her, they, they actually jumped off a building and did that. I wouldn't doubt that. Like that, that, that you, you go look up the behind the scenes footage. It's, it's insane. It's yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't fucking doubt that. I, I was like, bro, that's all. that's fucking insane. <laughs> yeah, they were probably uh, like hooked up to giant, to two giant cranes, right? Yeah, they had like wires and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. two giant cranes, hundred percent has to be. <laughs> um, but but just like having him dangle there for mm. that long. It, it kind of also just feels a little bit like a spit in the face at Neo as a character. Like, it's mm. just like, it's like he's, he's not as strong as we thought he was. And the only thing that's going to help him get to being that strong again is Trinity. Well, I, I think you touched on something about the blue pill, like the blue pill, him being yeah, yeah, the blue pill might, might have actually weakened him. I think that yeah, I never 100%. even thought about that. I think that's Fucking that's part of the reason. Years of, 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 of popping a blue pill, you know, you, this is probably going to yeah. do that. And, and then the they, residuals. they make they make your life story in the Matrix into a game in the Matrix. Well, I don't think it was him. I think it was. I don't, I don't think that they did it. I think it was him. Yeah. I think the, he, uh, yeah. Because of his memories yeah. and shit like that ended up doing it himself and 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 that's how we get the whole meta commentary you know yeah. because he's trying to he's trying to wake up from this fucking nightmare that he's stuck in but yeah. also watching his memories in this nightmare so it's like what's real you know true i well talking about matrix uh sorry neo and trinity's relationship looking back at the old movies this Storyline for me comes full circle because if you look back in the original movies, every time crazy shit went down, they were kind of together. Like, oh yeah, yeah. It was like Neo sure. Trinity, the oh, lobby no. scene, Dude, like, like even even I, Morpheus too. But like, I felt like I liked that connection, that power that they had. That he I completely agree. He used that power like, against them. I feel like, in all honesty, if if they didn't bring back Trinity and they did this with her. It wouldn't be as a Oh no! Uh, yeah, no. So, so it's fucking genius that they did. Yeah. And two, it just it's it goes with that also that that the drive for like more like I was saying before. Usually, action movies are like meat movies for like minutes. Yeah. But this movie is saying no. Action movies could be for games too because yeah. Look at this. Trinity it, is the one who's saving Neo. Trinity is the yeah. one who. Is always gonna have Neo's back. Yeah. Even he, when they don't even know each other. You know? He goes he goes back to save her and she ends up saving him. But that's exactly. Trinity for you. That's Trinity in a nutshell. That's that mm -hmm. like you never underestimate Trinity. Oh bro, but he saved her life too, bro. He, he fucking put his whole hand to just... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I remember that scene. He brought he literally brought her back. He massaged her heart he back to life. Her heart. <laughs> You know, I, I I love the ending. I love her coming back, flying in, fucking uh, up the analyst, Neil Patrick Hadricks, and even if it was it was super cheesy, oh, okay. them 
them flying away in the fucking sunset. How did you feel about her exploding the fucking house before yeah. getting there? Yeah, I didn't get and that. Then, I, I was, then, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then fucking killing him multiple times. I love that. I love that. I, that I, is kind of the fact that they have that. So, uh, say that again. You're, you're, you're. Are you in a hallway? <laughs> <laughs> He's just walking like I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I love that they, they got. I tell you that movie got me when they played a cover of Rage Against, that Rage Against the Machine song, the same song they played at the end of the Matrix. I was like, fuck, they got me. No, no, I agree. I agree. I'm saying is what did you feel or what did you think about Trinity having the power to fucking kill this man and then bring him back with like a, a fucking snap of her fingers. Oh, I noticed like, the second time I watched it. I noticed he do he does it first, and then she just picks up on it. Like she just mimicked his power. Like he he does she, he does when she comes in, knocks his jaw off. He does that himself. That was him first, and then she does it after. Unless I was wrong. I don't know. I felt like it was it was her the whole time. I felt like that was something he he would do. No, then he because didn't he, because he said, "Can you can't you control her?" And like, so can't you control her? Yeah. Like, like women used to be close to be way more. Uh, yeah, yeah, easily controlled. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Like, like I said, I, I would say I, I liked the film. It definitely had problems for me. Like, I was kind of disappointed action-wise for a Matrix film. We didn't yeah. get really. I wanted better choreography. I agree. It, I wonder, I like, I wonder if the pandemic was a factor because it's just really. Didn't they have like the stuntman from John Wick involved with this? Like, I remember hearing oh, something. I'm not too sure, but even even if they had the stuntman from John Wick, we should have had way more better action scenes. Oh yeah, like I was, I was like, like John Wick's action scenes are crazy. Exactly, and like, and we, we don't have Neil doing. You know, yeah, like it looks like, yeah, like Neil's struggling to fight. I'm like, motherfucker, you still do John Wick? Why are you struggling to fight right now, Keanu? <laughs> well, how did you feel about about Keanu? Well, not even Keanu. Neo and Trinity not looking as if they were Neo and Trinity throughout like the Matrix. Oh, well, I just did you notice that? Like, whenever they oh had, yeah, like, shots of, like, yeah, like the, the, like, they're on the table. And, yeah, like, they're the their image. Trinity well, didn't look. Yeah, their images in in the Matrix were changed. The DSI, the digital digital self image yeah. was changed, which made them harder to find mm -hmm. for other people. Yep. So, so that's what I was. That also brings me back to my original statement of them not being able to track them because yeah. of the DSIs. Yeah. Because the the machines fucking probably grabbed them at the brink of life and revived them to power this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Bro, so this movie's epic. It's good, but there's some flaws. But yeah, that's it's with every movie. That's yeah. With every movie. This this there's definitely some flaws. Like, like I had to rewatch it again because like. I was like, all right, I'm I'm a huge fan, but I gotta set that aside and watch this. Like, like, do I like it because this is the Matrix, or do I like it because it's a good movie? See, and that's like, why that's why I did it a second time because the first time I watched it with three other people, me two other people that fucking love the Matrix. Yeah, so, like, like, I was yeah. just like, we're all yeah. gonna love this. <laughs> yeah, like I was excited to be back in the world because it's literally been exactly. so many years, so many years, anything Matrix, and like, I enjoyed it. Um, if I if I had to put in a ranking with all the other films, I'm gonna be honest. It's probably in the order of the movies came out. Number the first one is my favorite. Second one, Matrix Reloaded. Matrix Revolutions the third, and this one's the fourth. I mean, I haven't watched really? the I haven't watched Revolutions. Like I said, I didn't rewatch it. So but right now, I say that again. You cut out there. For me, it would be one, two, four, three. Okay. So I have to rewatch part three, but but I I just remember like. I have to rewatch part three, but yeah, I would, I would have this little, a little low tier. Like I was just, the story's great. Action kind of really disappointed me. It was like, dude, rewatching those old films, the, the, the choreography is so fluid. So many great action scenes and fight scenes. And I know that's not the whole point Unless of it, it but. Was digital. Huh? <laughs> Unless it was digital. Yeah. Well, they, <laughs> they fucking like. Those actors trained back in the day, at least in the first one. I know the first one they all they got real training to actually fight. Yeah, I, dude, and I want I want that rap kid back. I felt so bad for him dying in that first one. <laughs> Mouse, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, well, you, you remember the 
the original Hanker? What was it, Tank or Dozer? Oh, uh, Dozer, yeah. And Tank, too. Yeah, yeah Tank, sur who, which one was the one that, I think Tank survived. Or was it Dozer? No, Dozer survived. Tank died. Dozer survived, yeah. Do you, do you, do you, do you know why he never was in the sequels? That actor? I don't. I don't. I don't know if this is true, because I've heard so many different stories, but the last thing I heard about this actor is that he was supposed to be in the sequels because he was their hacker of the crew of Morpheus, Neo, and Trinity. Yeah. This actor, I can't remember his name, wanted more money. And then apparently when he knew he wasn't going to get more money, he started stealing things from the set. Oh, you are cutting out there bad. Hey, Hello? Yeah. yeah, I hear you now. All right, so so that's that's pretty funny because it reminds me of the 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 same thing that happened with like Rhodey. But I mean, oh they, yeah, <laughs> they they switched them out and and they got a different actor and they kept on going. You know, like I, I I can see that happening. But the fact that he was like, I mean, if 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 this is true, the fact that he was like stealing and shit like that, like that's that's kind of crazy. Yeah, like because I, I don't think I've ever seen the actor in another movie. I don't even know if he's alive. Like true. he he might have royally fucked up his whole career with that shit because like yeah I, you're supposed to get more money when you come back to a sequel but if you're like a little no-name actor and you're about to be in this uh, two movies maybe in a major franchise maybe get what you get and and then negotiate for the next movie i don't know well, <laughs> like especially after what he was in the first one only right yeah he was the, only in the first exactly one. that's what i'm saying especially after hey, just the first hey, one. hey what's up no enzo no enzo just came in chat. hey hey no enzo what's up dude we're talking about uh, Matrix Resurrection. We're wrapping up right now, so we're not going to mention any more spoilers. Yeah, yeah, we're we're basically d done with the Matrix Resurrections. But um, just overall, what would you what would you rate it? Uh, like I know you gave it a lineup, but what would you rate the movie itself? Seven point five. I would say seven point five. That's, that's the... interesting because I was thinking like seventy five percent as well. Yeah. Yeah, I would say. Yeah. yeah. And, and yeah, I, we're 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 in a total agreement about that. Yeah, like I, I if the fucking action was a little better, it would have been eight. But like, if if the action was a little better and and the shit that I have problems with, like yeah. the, the mind shit, like that, yeah, yeah, careful, you know, careful. Noenzo been... hasn't seen it; he's screaming already. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, that's what I said. The, all I said was mind shit. Like, there's not like. No, no, we're wrapping it up. We're not. We're not gonna yeah. talk anymore. We're just giving our so, final reviews. So yeah, if 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 it was a if it was a little bit. Better than that, it'd probably be like an 8.5, 8. you know? Yeah, yeah. But, but other than that... I enjoyed it. I wasn't fully disappointed. I, I was disappointed in some aspects, but I enjoyed it. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Oh, Do you and, really, and for you... those that haven't seen it, uh, stick around to the end. There's yeah, a post-credit yep. scene. Yeah, it's pretty um, funny. It's pretty funny. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty fucking funny. Yeah, I don't know if there's going to be a sequel. I feel like this was a one-off. I don't if know. If this is a one-off, I'm fine with that. But if they make enough money, you know for a fact they're going to make a sequel. Oh, yeah. That's that's the throwaway line in the movie. When the meta... Oh, yeah, yeah, they're like, Warner Brothers doesn't make another Matrix game with or without us. I'm like, that's what they fucking said to the Wachowskis. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. That's what they said to the Wachowskis. Like, everything yeah, cause... everything they, they gave to us was literally shit that was like real life. <laughs> yeah, that, I love that. I was like, oh, this is fucking great. And I love... I, I don't know if you know it. It's only one of the Wachowskis. The other mm -hmm. one... The other one didn't want... Yeah, the other one yeah. didn't didn't want to do it because they didn't want to re retread past past shit. But Lana had this really good uh, story about how like I think their their parents passed away recently, so they liked the idea of being able to re revisit uh, someone from their past, even if it's characters, being able to yeah, see yeah, see yeah. them again. But also to 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 spark life into something you know that was uh, very very close to them, you yeah. know. So like I can I can see it I can see it and no, I enjoyed it I mean, I, the way they did it they can have more you know no it's true I don't think they should I think they should leave it as it is we we finally Honestly, got it. with with the way that it ends it's it, it's sort of it's sort of it's open yeah it's very open bro it's but very it, open. but if it doesn't continue it's it's a better ending than what we got originally that's oh, all I'll say fuck yeah dude if if they ended on this instead of the way three ended yes I completely agree yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, puppet. Th thank you. I think we were chatting for like an hour here. <laughs> dude, dude, we went through. We went through a lot. We had our we own went through Spider Man. <laughs> we had we had our own little Ghost Rider shit. We, had, <laughs> we, we we did a lot. Yeah, we did a lot. Yeah, I got it. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Thank you for for being on the show. Um, 
if you're free Thursday, hopefully you can hop on. I'm going to be doing my top five movies, shows, games of 2021. It's going to be hard. It's going to be really hard. Damn, dude, I'm going to have to fucking think about that then. I'm going to spend all day tomorrow looking at everything that's come out. Cause... Okay, so whatever whatever you look at, send me. Send okay. me links and shit like that because okay. I wanna I wanna go through it too. I wanna go through it too. It's gonna pressed. it's gonna be hard because fuck. Because I, like even this, I was I was still like searching up shit while we were trying to talk and shit. Like, I, like, I think I names and shit. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I already know what my number one movie and it's gonna shock everybody. Uh gonna it's gonna shock a lot. I, it's shocking number me. one movie for, for what, twenty twenty one? This year, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna I'm shock. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think because gonna shock, like, yeah. I, I kind of want to give a guess before we, we leave. <laughs> well, um, no, no, I think the Wenzel would know because I, I definitely watched it with him. So it's a horror movie? Mm, nope. <laughs> no. Okay. No. Nope. Ah. Okay. Okay. I'm not a hundred percent sure. So I don't, I don't want to, I'm not going to, I'm not even going to mention it. So. Okay. 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 It's a lot okay. of shit that came out this year. Yeah. That's, that's why I'm like, mm, I don't know. Like it, it could be like, <sighs> I don't I'm, know. I'm gonna struggle with TV shows too because I was like, "Fuck yeah!" A lot of TV shows came out, and so many different platforms and streaming services. Honestly, like big competitor for me for TV shows and shit like that. Um, Midnight Mass. Like Midnight Mass Ooh, was fucking. Great. I didn't finish that. I didn't finish that. It was good though. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. Do it before you finish the 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 fucking Fuck. the, before you start looking uh, up shit. Like, how many episodes do you have? I think I got to. I got up to the episode, uh, but I was spoiling too much. I got to the episode uh, where they're on the boat and he makes that revelation. Oh, uh, dude, you're not you're not that far. There's not there's not that many episodes yeah. after that. You should yeah. you should really do it because the the way that shit ends is yeah. kind of incredible. And no, also I, like just yeah. the story of that whole thing is just oh, it's so good. All right, I. I would try to. I have till Thursday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. But I mean, I could, could, you know, what? I, I can start mean, watching could, tonight. It could be a competitor, you know? Just it, saying. It's a lot. There's a lot. It's a lot. There's <laughs> a lot. Gaming wise, I don't think it, it, it won't be that hard of a struggle. It was. I didn't play that many new games this year. So yeah, just, new games. New games. It was very limited for me. Yeah, it's going to be Max Payne 3, game of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Max, Pay, Max Payne 3 remastered. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Puppet, thank you for being on. I got to take a fucking leak. <laughs> yeah, dude, dude, dude. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, to the chat, thank you guys for, for bearing with us during our, our little talk. Our and our breakdown of, of <laughs> what, fucking two movies and, and speculations of other characters and shit like that. So yeah. thank you guys for being here. I appreciate y'all so very much. And, tell them, uh, tell them where you. they can catch you. When, when are you going to be live next? Oh, I, I'm at, I'm at twitch.tv slash puppetplays underscore. If you guys want to check me out, hit that follow button. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're, we're, we're both streamers on Twitch and we're both friends in real life. So it just makes for great content. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, bro. Thank you, you for having me. And anytime, I, I can't brother. Wait till I keep on watching, bro. Keep on watching. You have a good night, bro. You too. All right, folks. I am gonna take a leak. Be back in five to ten minutes and play some Max Payne. <laughs> I still got some more headlines. I still got a review. My personal review of Double Seven No Time to Die. Have you have you watched anything recently, Noenzo? Have you watched the new James Bond? Should we get you on here to talk about James Bond? Do you care about James Bond? I don't know. Let me know. But uh, I'll be right back. I got to take a piss. Ah. <laughs>